What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. And today, we have some recruits coming to town versus Navy. We got this four-star safety. I think the only reason why we have a chance at him is because he's from Louisiana, and that's where Grandland State is. So, yeah, outside of that, I don't think there's any rhyme or reason why he should be trying to mess with us. We're definitely trying to mess with him. So, thank goodness we, we play in the same state that he resides, and all his family and friends can come to the Grandland State games if we can get him. Going after this receiver from Texas, Texas. Texas and Texas a and they could sneak in late and steal this guy. He doesn't have the greatest hands, doesn't have the greatest potential, but again, at this stage, we can't be choosy. We are begging and begging and begging for these guys to come to our program. So we are 1-5, ranked number 118. Navy is 0-5 and, and ranked number 119. So a game versus the two worst teams in the nation, and Brown's going to draw back the pass. Don't see that too much from Navy. They're a triple option type team. And that pass will fall incomplete. Pat him on the head, Brown. Let him know. It's okay. Everybody makes mistakes, baby. No hands are a mistake. And then Brooks gets sacked. And then we got to it away. And when you're with these early programs in year one and two, your special team is going to be doo-doo. And that means good things for Navy. So, yeah, the midshipmen are doing their thing. So, fourth and three, we're going to go for it here. I'm like, yo, our offense has got to be the callus for us to win because our defense can't do too much, and we go for it on fourth down and don't get the job done. And then look at our defense. Everybody in their mama getting pancake versus triple option attack, and that's going to be a touchdown for the big fullback. And we're down 14. Third down and 14. We're going to roll right into a sack, and it gets worse. They have it already in our territory. Morton a little. Is that like a triple option? Got to be faking there. You could run it. You could hand it off to the other guy. Hands off to the other guy. It's a touchdown. Brooks going to fire this one deep. And it's going to be caught by Gibbons. And he is finally back from suspension. Thank goodness because our receiving court was not complete without you, baby. It was not. We're going to fire this one. And Stallings, he can't hang on to that joker. And we... Get the ball right back to him. But we do get a safety out the whole deal, so it's not 100% bad, but Brown is hurt. And that's not a good look. So we march downfield. We have two points on the board. Can we get some more? We're going to fire it. It's caught by Archie. He got absolutely tattooed. And they pick up the fumble, and they're off to the races. 40, 50, into Gremlin State territory, down to the 10 to 5. Give him six. And it's 28 to 2, man. When it rains, it pours. So we're going to take this one to the left side. Look at the speed on Whitmore. Gets this one inside the 10. First and goal from the 6-yard line. Their defensive end drop back in coverage. And your boy was not anticipating that. But that's why you have to sit back and read it and not just anticipate things. And I wish we could anticipate where the run is going to be at. Because we can't stop him. Hatchell is loose again. 10-5 and another touchdown for Navy, and it is getting ugly. 35-2. 35-2. Brooks was in the zone. I'm like, I'm about to run this cat over. He plays for Navy, and he was like, yeah, I play for Navy. We bout that. You know what I'm saying? We go overseas and handle things, and I should have known that running with my quarterback on fourth down was not a good look. So we're down, what is it, 42-2? 42-2. Versus the only team that's just as bad as us. And, 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 and they're not. Clearly, clearly they're not. So we go get a touchdown. We're going to go for two. Make it a 32-point game. There you go. 32-point game at the end of the half. We're down big. But can we come back? Can we come back? I think we can. We just have to do what they did in the first half, this half. Looking downfield for Archie. Perfect pass. A Dawkins dime move those chains. Brooks sets his feet, throws it deep in the double coverage, and that's not going to work. And we get the ball right back to Navy. Can we stop the rushing attack? Five down linemen for us, and it does not matter. It, it really does not matter. Maybe we should go with more defensive backs to try to stop the rushing attack. I don't know. Whitmore, he gets the carry, and that's going to turn into a big gain as he picks up the first down and works his way in to midshipman territory, down inside the 25. Going to throw that one, and yo, White, how he jumped that pass so good is beyond me. He was just stuck in mud and there's like turning the sign at the hedgehog. And Washington, he's on that same stuff too. We can't catch him. There's not a tiger in the frame. It is absolutely atrocious what is going on. 56 to 10 is the score. Brooks gonna roll right, throws it. Stallings makes the catch, grab by the face mask, and that's just not what you wanna do. It's really not what you wanna do. But we done did it. Well, they done did it to us. So now we're gonna capitalize on it, right? Right, you are. 
So we do get seven up on the board. 56 to 17. Do I smell a comeback? No. The blocking is stupendous. Everybody gets blocked. And when everybody gets blocked on your defense, you're probably going to give up a touchdown. And that's exactly what we did. 63 points up on the scoreboard. Archie coming through with a big time catch there. Now we are putting up some decent yards, man. We really are. Brooks is on pace to maybe go over the 600 yard mark total for running and passing today. So he's doing his thing. But it's just not enough. And right there we got stopped a Billy eyelash shy of the first down mark. And then look at Thomas. He is their like second string or third string running back. Run away from everybody. Like, let me get some of those guys on my squad. Please, we will be national champions. Brooks gonna get loose down that left sideline to the 30, to the 20, inside the 15, and chased out of bounds. Second down and one from the five yard line. And Brooks, he's gonna get into the end zone for his third rushing touchdown. I really wish his passing numbers were just as good as his rushing numbers because he's rushing the ball like crazy. Every game, for like the past three, four weeks, he's rushed over three, three, three touchdowns every single time. The Grand State Tiger faithful, they've seen enough. They're like, we can't do this no more. It is breaking our heart to watch y'all play football. So, 556 yards passing, zero TDs, and two interceptions. That's what I meant. His touchdowns on the ground, I wish we had through the air. But, hey, it is what it is. As of right now, we probably have a little bit more... Uh, uh, interceptions and touchdowns, but it is what it is. So he ran for 63 yards, so tapped that onto his passing numbers, and he did have 600 yards total offense just by himself. And I know he's the quarterback, so that can happen, but 600, though, by yourself, that is a lot of yards. That is a lot of freaking yards. And if we had a defense to match, then, you know, maybe we will be something special. But maybe we'll be, we, maybe next year. May, maybe. Because the four-star free safety is coming to town. Pete Williams, 6'3", 200 pounds. Hopefully, he is that guy for us. Here go the numbers. Here, yeah, Brooks balling. But 15 interceptions to 12 TD is not a great ratio, but averaging 427 yards per contest. <laughs> Absolutely stupid. Whitmore, our cornerback, is our leading rusher with 513 yards, followed by Brooks, who has over 280. Archer with 48 receptions for 965 yards. Richie, Richie, Richards, 47 receptions for 713 yards. So, again, receivers balling out. And I'm hoping in the offseason a bunch of them want to come to play for us so we can move them to running back and all over the place because we need some help. All right. So this guy's going to get suspended for a game um, because I don't want no smoke from the NCAA. I'm like, nope, I'm not going down that right route with you. It's not going to happen. So they were going to be taking on the Bulldogs of Louisiana Tech. Now, Louisiana Tech, they're probably better than we are, but that don't mean nothing. It's the battle for Louisiana, if you ask me. It's the battle for the boot. And hopefully they get booted out of town, even though we are the away team. But you know what I mean, okay? It's an interstate conference. Conference, not interstate confrontation. That's what I was trying to say. Confrontation, all right? We run the ball. That is our receiver, our fifth receiver playing running back. Because I'm, I'm tired of Gardner. I, and I hate to say it because the college athletes, and I think college athletes should get all the opportunities in the world. But it's like, I, like no. you like, like, like last game, he was having a rough day versus Navy. And I was like, I didn't really show too many clips of him. And that's probably why. Because he's having a rough day versus Navy. So we go fourth on fourth down. We don't get it. And then Palmer is different. This guy, he is like he should have been at like LSU but didn't have the grades. And I don't even know if you have to have great grades to get to LSU, but you know what I'm saying. Like he should have been there, but something happened with his SAT score or something like that. First down, 10 yards to go. Brooks looking down. They're going to fire this one. Whitmore makes the catch on first down. That's going to be a solid pickup of seven yards. So second down, three yards to go. Brooks fires that thing. Caught by Starlings. And that will be a chain mover. We go backwards four on first down. So we're coming back on second down and 14. And look at that strike. Richards reaching out with both hands, making the catch right there. Third down and four. Can we make something happen going to Gibbons? And that pass gets broken up right in our face. So fourth and four. We're going to go for it. It's kind of too far for a field goal. But also want to go for it anyways. And we do pick up the first down by the hands of our chinny chin chin. Third down and 10. Play fake to Miller. Going to roll to the left side to Richards who hauls it in. And we are finally on the scoreboard. So 7-7 seven, seven is the score. We back up everybody. I'm trying to get my sack on. Can't do it. Palmer, he beats our shutdown corner in Whitmore. And their impact player is just slightly better than our impact player. And that's how the crumbles. Play fake. Brooks rolling way out and dropping way back. And Richards makes the catch. How do you like that? First and 10. Going back to Richards and is tipped and then picked. And these are the ones that kill you. 
Where it's like, if it's a batted ball, okay, fine. If it's a drop pass, overthrow, fine. It gets tipped all the way to the other side of the line of scrimmage, other side of the defensive line, and it's like, really? He makes that play? And then if you get mossed by a defender, then hey, he, he, hey, he just made a great play. But those ones where they get tipped right into the hands of somebody else, those are absolute killers. It kills all your momentum, kills all your hope. And then you get Yahoo, Zay, her, give me that user interception. All is forgiven and all is forgotten. So let's move on. That pass caught by Richards, having himself a first quarter to say the least. Brooks going to roll to the right side, looking for Campbell. It's tipped. And then picked yet again. You can't put the ball in harm's way, and that's exactly what we are doing today. And I don't like it. If I'm being honest with you, I do not like it. Dixon gets to carry. Dixon gets into the end zone. Touchdown to end the first quarter. So second quarter action now. We're down by 21. It could be worse, though. It could be worse. We could be down by like 40 like we were last time. But Richards comes through with a catch right there. Another one for him. We're going to run the ball with Miller because, look, he's faster than, than our real tailback. Not by a lot, but by a little, and it works out. So first and 10 now. Brooks going to roll right. Still rolling. Going to throw it up top to Richards, who hauls that one in. Use a reception. You see it. Second down, 10 yards to go from the 16-yard line from the gun now. Going to roll to the left side. Throw it. That pass caught by Richards. Stop on a dime and get into the end zone, big fella. And that's our second touchdown pass of the contest. Walker fires this one. That pass. I thought they were going to give me the corner. So don't, don't judge my user skills, okay? I thought they were going to give me the corner. Whitmore to the left side. Got absolutely demolished. Just crushed your spirit on that one. Richards makes the catch right there. So can we convert here? Third down and one. Brooks going to roll right. Sets his feet. Throws it deep. Caught by Richards and went up to the 50. That's what I'm talking about. 210 yards passing. Almost all of them have gone to Richard. Looking down Phil. We were looking for Richards again. And that pass was heavily underthrown. And it's a Palmer brother taking it to the crib. They recruit family members at Louisiana Tech. They, they got to because two Palmers balling like that, they got to be related. Whitmore to the outside. He's going to pick up a decent gain, and it's a first down. Second down and 10 play. Fake going to drop back the pass again. Throw it. No, hold on to it. Yes, we will throw it, and we're going to reach down and make that catch and get hog tied out of bounds. That's 10 receptions here in the first half. Brooks looking downfield. That pass will be caught, and that's going to result in a first down move. This change. First and goal. We're going to run the ball with Whitmore. He goes nowhere fast. Second down and goal from the 11. Brooks looking downfield. Gibbons coming through, but not quite in the end zone where I need him to be. So from the one, we break a tackle, and we get into the end zone. Touchdown. And just like that, we're back in this ball game, or are we? Yes, we are, because we're going to stop right there on defense. So here we go now. Brooks going to drop back, rolls right, sets his feet, fires it, stones. He hauls that one, and that's going to be a first down. That, that's another chain mover from the 33-yard line. Whitmore to the left side, makes a man look silly and has a first down in his back pocket. So we're marching down the field. Going to throw that one in the traffic, but it's caught by Richards nonetheless. I believe that's his 11th reception so far today. Still in the first half, absolutely redunculous. Brooks trying to get busy with his feet. He does. Down the sideline, picks up a good block, and we tiptoe out of bounds to stop the clock. 49 seconds of work with Brooks dropping way back. Throwing it downtown to Richards, who makes another catch. Catch number 12 here in the first half. Second down and goal. Brooks takes it to the crib. Touchdown. And we are now down by seven. So we're definitely in this ball game. And we definitely have time to take the lead. All we need is our special teams, our defense to come through like they've been doing so far. I know the score doesn't suggest that, but it's been big plays and turnovers by us. If we can eliminate those, we could beat Louisiana Tech. Wouldn't that be something special to cap off this season, even though we got like three, four games left? But you know what I'm saying, okay? Don't judge me. That pass intercepted by Vincent. Give me that Yahoo. They ha. I said, give me that Yahoo. Give me that user interception. Got this thing on back the other way with Whitmore. For a first down by the hands of Chin Chin Chin. Brooks quick pass to Stallings. And he's going to have a first down up past the 30-yard line. So we're matriculating the ball up and down the field as we want to. Brooks going to roll right. He's going to look at the... the this, what were they doing? They thought they could catch him like that. Boy, you straight... You, 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 you straight... Just sleeping. You sleep. Wake up. Third down now. And 11. From the 17-yard line. Brooks rolling. Still rolling, and he's rolling inside the five, and then I dive. I didn't want to get hit, and we dive backwards, so it's fourth and it's instead of a first down, 
and then we go for it on fourth down still maybe kicking the field goal and we fumble and we weren't going to get it anyways and it's like geez sometimes the brain just does not want to work sometimes sometimes you have frustration get the best of you and you're like you know what let's go for it when you should have just kicked the field goal cut the lead down to half Walker throws that thing in that should have been a Yahoo's they but it's not because they suck at users. Third down and three, we send a blitz. It's gonna get there. It's not, but the pass is a little bit high. It's still caught, but shy of the first down. So we take over, still down by just seven. Brooks gonna roll left, throws it, and look at that pass. And look at the toe tap Tony on the sideline. First down and 10 from the 44. Brooks gonna roll left one more time, throw it to Richards one more time, and another toe swag. Just, I mean, toe drag swag. Let's get it right. Brooks gonna roll to the right side. Looking downfield for Richards, who makes the catch. Another catch for him. I don't know how many that is, but he is out absolutely killing it right now. Brooks under pressure. Can he get to the end zone using his feet and twinkle toes? Can. And this game was all tied up at 35 all. Upset alert. I mean, is I mean, it, it is an upset alert, but what they even call it an upset alert? You know, with all these big games going on, Alabama versus LSU. You know, what I mean, Florida and Auburn or something like that. I don't know, but you know, like what they call it that. I don't know. 35-35 is the score though. That pass gonna be caught by Palmer, and he's loose. Weaving through traffic like your mama knew how to do, and that's the result in a touchdown. So, 42 to 35 is now the score. Whitmore makes a man miss, but there's too many red hats up over there, and we're going to get brought down after going nowhere. Third down and nine, gets a little screen pass. We're going to break one tackle, and if my old line could block somebody, that would great. Hey, yo, I would greatly appreciate it. So, 25 completion. We're going to go for it here because, again, don't trust my special teams. Barely trust my defense, and yeah. We get sex. We give up a short field, but maybe we can force a turnover. Nope. Hall stumbles and bumbles his way across the goal line. Touchdown, Louisiana Tech. And yes, we could be in some serious, serious trouble. Just a second ago, it was all tied. Now we're down two scores. We need to come back. And we got, yo, we got receivers for days, though. And our quarterback loves to slang of that thing. So 49 to 35, down by 14. Let's make something happen right here. It's caught by Richards, another reception for him. 16 catches, up over 300 yards, doing his thuggest of fizzles. Looking down through, we overthrow our man. Not what we were trying to do. Fourth down now, rolling out, still rolling. He's gonna keep it in Brooks, using his feet for a first down. Second down and 10, Whitmore gets the carry. Breaks a tackle, down that right sideline. He has a first down. Takes a hit, but it's a fresh set of 10. Second down and three from the 18. Looking for Archie, who makes the catch. Up inside the 10 now. First to go from the 7. Whitmore, weaving through traffic, gets it to the end zone. Touchdown. We will kick the ball deep. I did think about going for the onside kick, and maybe we should win for the onside kick because McCall is gone. Untouched. He bumped into his offensive line, but that don't count. He went untouched. Now the Tiger sniffed him. So we're back down by 14. We got to do something. We're going to fire it, and it's ruled a fumble. And there are no challenges in NCAA 06. So it's absolutely heart-wrenching. Heart has been ripped out of my chest. It's another touchdown. 63 to 42. Down by 21. We got to hurry up and do this thing. That pass intercepted again. And it's five interceptions. Over 20-plus hurries and four sacks. And McCall has another touchdown. Another one. Fourth and nine, down by 28 now. Brooks rolls left, throws it deep to Stallings. It's going to hit him in the hands, but he could not hold it in. And that's the way sometimes things work out for you. They're going to run the ball, and that's going to be a touchdown. Right up the gut, 77 of 42 is the final in the game that we could have won. So realistically speaking, Georgia Southern might be the only legitimate team, a legitimate chance to beat another team. We beat Southern, um, and now we might beat Georgia Southern. I don't know when we play them. I think we played them maybe the last game or second to last game of the season. I know it's coming up, though, because this has been a rough year. And I do like Air Raid because I've never had a bunch of receivers and a quarterback lead the, lead the country in a bunch of statistics because we usually just go balance or heavy run. So this is kind of fun, but we got to start winning. But it might not happen until another recruiting class comes to town. When I mean another one, I mean this one and the next one. But that's going to do it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope that the rest of the day is the best day. Tell me to get my friends. Peace, love. Hot sauce.